Hello! The timer just went off for my dryer. Oh, perfect. Um, let's see. This video is compensating for the cancellation of the Trans World Haunted Attraction uh, conference. Uh, here I am at home. You can see behind me some of the um, posters that I've designed for Gonzo Rising and a couple other things including our business license for St. Josephine's Home for the Unloved Arts, an article about my work in uh, City Weekly, uh, my graduation from the uh, my therapy training, um, and some other stuff. Uh, so today has been a little... Um, uh, a little unsettling. Um, so I woke up, messaged my therapist that I wasn't going to come uh, today, if that was okay. Uh, and went back to sleep. And then I woke up and I decided I wanted eggs and we were out of eggs. So I walked to the grocery store, which is um, the little fresh market um, nearby. And had maybe half the number of the usual people. Not too bad. Not too post-apocalyptic, uh, but everyone was walking around in a daze, you know, uh, in just sort of stunned daze, um, and there were big gaps on the shelves, hi, and while I was there an announcement came over the PA that from now on only two items per person were, were allowed, and I heard this sort of collective groan, and... Um, I'm sure there were people just leaving things in the middle of the aisle now, and so the the poor minimum wage workers are now going to have to go go around restocking and moving all that stuff, um, possibly even perishables. Um, but I got my eggs and I got some grocery store sushi because I needed a treat. And even though I don't have a sense of smell or taste right now, um, sushi is interesting to eat. And I got some orange chicken, um, which is good because orange is one of the few flavors I have left. And I trudged home, and there was a message from my therapist that said, um, every session from here out is cancelled because um, this is a VA therapist, and the VA is a teaching hospital. And our therapist, my therapist, was one of the students. And the VA froze out all the students, took away your badge, no more students anywhere at the VA. So my therapist is gone. Um, so that sucked. And something I'd been looking forward to, one of the few things left, got cancelled or postponed. Um, but for now, realistically, I know that postponed often means cancelled. Uh, so that sucked. So I slept most of the day. I uh, woke up, played with uh, the rats, who are social creatures and need attention even if I'm feeling grumpy, and Jake had to go to work early so he didn't get his normal time. Um, yeah, this is just going to be me rambling, folks. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about current events. Um, the next show that I'm in, that I'm planning, is in May. Uh, second, third, second, second Sunday in May, and uh, I really hope we're cleared out by then, um, because working toward a future project is part of what keeps me sane. I, I love to perform, I love to write when I can, um, and I love to learn, and when my brain is a bit overburdened, as it has been lately. Writing and learning kind of get harder. Um, so if I can't actively perform, I can plan to perform. So it'll be a Gonzo Rising show. Um, tickets are already on sale if anyone wants to buy ahead of time to help support the local arts. Um, yeah, right. Um, and uh, we're planning a parade. Believe it or not. Um, and I hope to get uh, a marching band, and we're going to march uh, in, a, in a circuit around the gateway 
uh, before the show, trying to pull in strangers to come to the show. Uh, it'll be uh, a a definite, uh, strong... I mean, Gonzo Rising, uh, except for The Cursed Show, has always been a good show. And The Cursed Show wasn't bad, it was just short. Um, that was episode four, uh, the fourth Gonzo Rising. Um, that's kind of a long story, and I honestly don't like to tell it, because... Um, I don't want to badmouth other people, and some people made choices in there that made it very hard for us to pull the show off, but we did pull the show off, and that's how I got Sasha into the show, and he's been a, a staple ever since. Um, so, yeah, a parade, and a show, and my my goal is for it to be the, the biggest show to date. It'll be at the Urban Arts Gallery, as usual. Um... And let's let's sell one out just for fun, just to see what we can do. Um, if we can have a show by the second week in April, May, second week in May, um, we'll see. I, I hear CDC talking about July, uh, but once we come out of this. Um, People will be starving for entertainment. And those of us that are performing artists will be starving to entertain. We are... I am already stir-crazy. Um, the... the It's not a quarantine, but the just current events have cancelled the, the Haunted Attraction Conference. Um, a show called um, Do Both. Get them... Get you someone who can do both, something like that. Um, there was a Drag King thing that was supposed to happen on Sunday. Um, there was an improv class that's supposed to happen uh, tomorrow that I've canceled. Another improv class that I wanted to go to uh, since I was canceling mine, and that was canceled. Um, and, uh, um, wow, it's quite a range of names showing up here. Uh, and and just again and again things are cancelled and if I look at my calendar now um, let's see there's uh, PTSD group is cancelled SOS improv is cancelled the other improv is cancelled Transworld is cancelled there's a staff meeting which is probably going to be virtual or phone call there's do both is cancelled there's a sage sun event is cancelled my mental health uh, appointment is cancelled. Um, I don't know about Circus of the Strange, but it's probably cancelled. Um, I suspect the Beehive Magic Show on this Wednesday is cancelled. Um, it's sad. Um, and I know other there's not much left on my calendar, and I know a lot of that is going to be cancelled or postponed. Um, but again, postponement doesn't necessarily mean postponement. Some businesses are going to go out of business. They're not going to make it. Um, so, and do what you can to support small businesses, artists. Um, buy, if you've got the means, buy uh, gift certificates. If it's a business you can't Personally, um, you know, if it's like a restaurant and you can't go to the restaurant, you know, buy a gift certificate. You know, use it for when you go back. If it's a coffee shop or um, if there's any 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 business that you can do something online, some of the performers are doing some online stuff. Um, support that if you can. Um, and as I say, uh, Gonzo has. Um, tickets on sale now, so if you want to buy tickets for a May show, you know, you're welcome to. I'd love it, um, but I know most of my friends are in the same boat I am. Um, hi, Mel. Um, so, do what you can. Uh, I didn't expect to be very isolated, to be honest, um, but there's nothing to take me out of the house now. The The local library where I do my writing um, is always my last ditch. You know, I gotta get out of the house, I'll go to the library for an hour. Um, 
I suppose I'll take some long walks, but it's hard for me um, to walk unless I'm going somewhere, if that makes sense. Uh, payday is Friday. Um, it might be the last normal payday for a little while. Uh, and um, that's going to be the payday that rent comes out of. Um, I should be fine. Uh, but if things continue as they are, um, the next big pay period uh, might be really rough. That said, um, I feel like it's in my own best interest to spend some of my money, um, A, supporting local business and arts, and B, doing things that are good for my mental health. Um, Normally, that would be dining, getting some fancy food, um, but since I've lost my sense of smell and taste, that's just depressing. Even fancy coffee coffees just taste like regret now. Um, hopefully, um, my medical appointments to get a CAT scan coming up in a few weeks won't be cancelled, and hopefully they'll find something. But... Um, just like looking at the word postponement, I'm honestly not holding out hope because, um, if something is found, that'll be great. I don't need to mentally and emotionally prepare for that. If nothing is found, that will suck, and I need to be ready for that. And so I'm getting my morning done. I'm, um coping. I'm focusing on things like making sure that we have fresh batteries in the smoke detector because I can't smell smoke. Uh, making sure that um, cleaning chemicals are properly labeled. Um, I'm, you know, trying to do what I can um, to improve safety. Uh, throwing out food with the expiration dates because normally I, I've been known to ignore the date if it smells okay, but I can't do that doing laundry a bit more often than I normally would because is this shirt going to last another day? Can't do that. Um, showering more often because like, yeah, do I need a shower? Can't do that. Ooh, well. Um, recently I bought a new desk. It's cool. My room is not well lit. Um, but let's see. That, this is surprisingly difficult to aim. Uh, it's got kind of old-style library drawers, which I like. 25 bucks at Habitat for Humanity. Highly recommend it. Um, and then Jake got this uh, more antique one, which, again, you're not going to see a lot of details because the room is not well lit. Part of my, my task for improving my space is going to be to do with lighting. Um... The wiring in here is a little weird, um, so it tends to burn out incandescent bulbs uh, quickly, which is a little unsettling. Um, I have a pet snail now. That's that's the tank. His name is Cecil. Um, he came with a friend named Snow, who lived in a little tiny. Is a baby one. Lived in a little tiny box with a little tiny air hole, and then one day he was missing. He, she, they. Uh, snails are hermaphroditic, I think. Who knows what pronouns a snail should use? Um, and disappeared. And this little tiny speck of black is nearly impossible to see at the best of times. And so um, we may never find him. He's probably um, gone, which is a shame. I mean, I can't get really emotionally attached to a snail, but... It's a shame. It was a, a rescue, an adoption from someone who was moving to another state and state law would not allow snails to cross the border uh, because snails can be an invasive species. These are just plain old brown garden snails that you could find in the lawn. Um, but once you name it, put it in a tank with a little toy, um, now he's a pet. He eats cucumbers and carrots and supposedly likes likes green beans, but when I put one in, he ran away from it. Uh, I 
want to do something useful. I want to build something, make something, teach something. Um, I, I, I want to, to learn something. I, I want to uh, create something. If, if I create any sort of show, it's going to be May at the soonest. So I can start planning out um, Gonzo. Um, but there's no guarantee that we'll be clear by then. It might take more than a month. Maybe not. Um, I sure hope not. Hello, Jonathan. Um, so I'm going to focus a lot on Gonzo. I'm going to uh, do what I can. Uh, yeah, I hear you, Mel. I'm going to do what I can to, to maintain my mental health. Um, my medications are going to hold out. Um, not having therapy or group. Um, I'm left to my own devices for now, um, which means making sure I get enough sleep. It means making sure I get enough to eat, which is a little hard with the whole loss of smell thing. Um, I don't get normal cravings anymore. I'll, I'll get a craving for food and then realizing I'll be disappointed, I just get slightly disgusted. So, I mean, silver lining, I've lost about 50 pounds since this started, um, which I feel kind of weird and shallow about it, but I'm glad, because uh, that last 50 pounds came on fast due to medication, uh, which I'm no longer on, uh, but it persisted, and for whatever reason. Um, so, I'm still squishy, but I'm, I'm kind of the shape of my self-image again uh, and it means distracting it means trying to be creative in some fashion uh, it means going for walks um, though as I said uh, how far am I gonna walk where where am I gonna walk to um, this is not a particularly picturesque part of the world uh, Mill Creek um, a lot of places when you get into residential areas, have no sidewalks. Um, so, you know, I can walk toward downtown until I'm tired and then turn around. And, I mean, it's good for my mental health to get the exercise, but it's a lot easier for me to go on long walks if I have somewhere to go. Hell, there's a cemetery nearby, and it is the most boring cemetery I have ever seen. All the stones are the, the flat kind, and there are signs all over the place with rules about how you can decorate the graves and how they're going to go through and clear out uh, seasonally themed decorations like a week after the, the holidays gone by and um, no, no picnics or games. And I, just, I feel, uh, you know, normally a cemetery is, is kind of solitary and, and you can walk and you can read the, the stones, but I, I feel like someone's going to come ask me what my business is. Uh, yeah, I had nothing particularly interesting to say. Um, I'm still all about Gonzo Rising. Um, I'd like to put together other shows. Um, and in this time, we've got to support each other in any way we can. Um, that sounds great, Kelly. Let's do that. Um, when are you back, Kelly? Um, since I'm not leaving, I was supposed to fly out on Wednesday. Um, fortunately, I got insurance for the flight, so I put in a claim, but I haven't been able to cancel the flight. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, because the Delta website is overloaded. Um, so I'm not sure if I can get my claim if the flight isn't technically cancelled, so I might be out a few hundred bucks. Um, plus there's some money I spent on the conference itself that I'm hoping to get reimbursed for, um, but that's not going to happen in any hurry. Wednesday night. That's right, we were going to miss each other by, by like, less than a day. Matt. Hi. Um, do I think this is a time for more finding each other online and finding podcasts and finding videos and doing video performances and classes maybe um, 
and gatherings online because gatherings in person are trouble. I mean, even if you're someone who thinks that this is all overreaction, um, you're still going to have a hard time finding a, a people to have a party with or put on a show. Um, because I believe none of the prohibitions are, like, officially law. Um, but everyone's... <laughs> yeah, Bryce. Um... Yeah, I mean, there there are some nice cemeteries in, in Greater Salt Lake area. Um, there's one over, like, on the way to the VA that's kind of cool. There's one up in the avenues um, that I like. But places I can reach on foot, there's just the one. Um, it's the Wasatch Lawns or Acres or something like that. It's a shitty cemetery. Um, so gathering in person is going to be tough. Um... I'd be open to a very small, under-the-recommended-limit number of people, like, picnic. Outdoors is pretty safe. Um, as far as, as far as places, outdoors is, is relatively safe. Uh, let's do a picnic. Um, let's, um, howl at the moon. Let's, let's do something. Um... You know, as you know, I'm not much of a hugger, uh, but I've, I've only been in this isolated um, period for, like, a day. I mean, I was at work yesterday. Um, and I feel terrible. <laughs> I do, I just feel terrible. Um, not sick. Just feel like shit. I slept for four hours today. Um... Probably it was depression sleep, something I haven't done in a while. Um, which might make it hard to sleep tonight, which might make it hard to have a good day tomorrow. Uh, there might be some work coming up um, at Dreamscapes uh, since we're closed Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, there might be some building and cleaning to do, and I might go do that. Um, even if it's not the fun, creative stuff, it'll get me out of the damn house and feeling useful. <sighs> Um, provided public transit doesn't get shut down. I don't think there's any plans in that direction, but I know UTA um, sometimes seems to look at their customer base as a burden, and when there aren't enough of us um, to support the cost of keeping the buses running, um, they may uh, start closing down some bus lines um, or limiting their, their schedule. Haven't seen anything about that. That's purely speculation that that may happen one day. Largely because the universe is designed to be inconvenient for me personally. Uh, right now I am procrastinating on finishing a movie review that was due Saturday. I'm, I'm just being terrible with it, and I, I don't have a good reason for it. I don't like missing a deadline. Um, I've got I've got to write 500 words, and I've got 1,200 words written. All I have to do is condense my notes. Easy. If it were a movie I really liked, I could do that in maybe 10 minutes. It's a movie I really don't like, and that, that's harder. Um, yeah, walking is great. Oh, you gotta see more. Thank you. Um, so that's one of the tabs on on my computer. Um, I've got uh, someone on Twitch playing Resident Evil Three, kind of running in the background. Um, I've got a bunch of YouTube tabs for things that are like long series. You know, someone playing Silent Hill. Um, I've got. Facebook, which I'm spending more time on than usual, um, even though it's pretty much all on topic if I read my news page. Uh, I'm still getting notifications for events coming up that I already know have been cancelled. Um, I've got a tab open on Delta, um, where I periodically try to cancel my flight, and it keeps telling me sorry. keeps telling me... Oh no, we're sorry, but we are unable to process your request. Please try again later. So it's been doing that for two days now. 
I hope I can get through at some point before Wednesday morning, because I feel like if I cancel after the flight started, that that's going to be a pain. And I really don't want to get on the phone, because I know there are long wait times, and um, if you know me, you know I just don't like using the phone in general, given an option. Uh, I've got Slack open to keep track of things going on at Dreamscapes and Utah Arts Alliance. Um, let's talk about various creative things we can do. Um, so, yeah, um, tell you what, this last weekend, the, the, the guests we had were so grateful that we were open. Um, and they, they weren't as many as normal, but, um, they were so grateful. It was actually, uh, nice. Because uh, normally a slow day kind of drags, and you start to feel useless. Um, and, uh, you know, they come in, and, and they're, they're supporting local business and local arts. And they really like what we do, even though the ball pit is shut down, which I kind of assume is the main attraction uh, for a lot of our guests. Um, and I keep telling them, come back, come back. We're going to be doing some... Um, building uh, and, and design in the near future um, so maybe by the time all this is over we might have a lot of new stuff who knows uh, and if public transit doesn't shut down I'll be able to um, trek up and help them out because while I can take long walks um, we're looking at almost three hours for me to walk to work from here which I can do uh, I would totally do, but then I would have to walk three hours to get home. Um, but, um, yeah, I have people who live in the area that can, uh, can help with that. Um, I just need to do stuff. I, I, you know, it did not take me long to start feeling stir-crazy. And it's not that I'm quarantined, um, it's just that there's nothing to do. There's nowhere to go. Um, it's like, uh, it's getting dark. If I do a walk today, it'll, it'll be after dark, but that's okay. Um, I might do that. I've got a reflective vest. There's far less traffic out there. Um, I just have to invent an errand of some sort that will be my reason to walk. Um, I don't know, get chicken nuggets from the Burger King on 33rd. That's a good size walk. Down to 33rd and Highland. Uh, hi. I guess I'm going to wrap it up because I, I don't have anything more to say that's even remotely useful, but um, I like the idea of having a little bit of live conversation with the people out there. Uh, oh, by the way, um, I just made a post on Facebook. Um, friend is looking for an electrician. Uh, because their wiring was apparently put together by a crackhead, and they need to do some um, alterations. You don't say that with elect. They need to change some switches over. Um, and right now, it looks suspiciously like it might be dangerous. <laughs> so, um, yeah, if, if anyone's an electrician or uh, is a friend of a friend um, who has some time, um, we're not asking for a freebie, but. Um, Hopefully it's a small, easy project, but it's the sort of thing that might be a much bigger, more complicated project. And, uh, we'll see. Um, also looking for, uh, if you've been following my Facebook, looking for uh, some sort of big hook uh, to use to pull someone off stage uh, before the May show. Um, we've had a few suggestions of ways to make things. Um, hi, Crystal. Yeah. Um... So that's fun, looking for a gong as big as possible. Um, lots of small ones available. Um, someone suggested asking school music departments if they're like getting rid of one, which is an interesting idea. Um, when schools are open again, I might uh, ask. Um, although if I get a big gong, where the hell am I gonna store it? Maybe I should just find someone who'll lend me one. Um, Cause I wanna, I'm, I'm brainstorming ideas to to add to Gonzo Rising and and I think some sort of uh, um, gong show uh, theme 
would uh, create more uh, audience interaction. Um, and I think most of my performers are the sort that would be playfully uh, accepting of, of being pulled off stage uh, if the audience decides that they're um, weird but not entertainingly weird or, or something. Um, and possibly that could get us through shorter sets so we could have much, many more artists. But many more artists means splitting the take more ways. Um, this... Um, this last show, uh, I believe, is going to um, be record-breaking for wedding pay. Uh, the performers, largely because a number of them have quietly said that they're going to donate their share, uh, so instead of splitting nine ways, I'm splitting it four or five. Um, so, yeah, that's a grand total. Uh, you know what? I believe in transparency. Um, my shows, I split the take uh, halfway with the, with the house, and the other half split evenly with the performers, generally cutting myself out um my my goal is to be able to pay myself but right now if the performers are getting less than like 20 bucks um, i'm going to cut myself out and i have been putting in out of pocket to to round up um and this time by my math um with the current split it's a whole 13 dollars which is a nice number um oh yeah Rental. Renting a gong. Yeah. Um, it's, and it's... Honestly, $13 for, for a performance is shit. It's, it's utterly shit. I know this. We are, we are growing and building, and uh, my goal is to get at least... Um, <laughs> yep. I, w I, wanna, I wanna pay people 50 bucks a night. I, I, I don't think that's unreasonable. But that requires growing the show, and that requires a little bit of educating um, Utah. Uh, letting them know we're here, letting them know we're worth it. Um, Utah, I have heard from a number of performing artists in a number of media, is pretty stingy um, with, with performers um, that aren't bands, um, and, and often even with bands. Um, so... Uh, that's going to be a long, hard climb, but, um, well, I'm still losing money on most shows, um, I'm able to pay more than I used to be, and 13 is pretty good, and, um, yeah, that's pretty good, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased, honestly, uh, I feel subtweetered. Bryce, you're a weirdo. Uh, yeah, I've nearly signed off a few times now, because um, I'm, I'm just kind of ranting, rambling. Um, but this is a cool moment to have a conversation with people, and even though you're mostly listening to me, um, you know, knowing you're out there uh, watching live and occasionally waving um, or making comments, um, it's like like a gathering. Um, it's still our 10, so it's, you know, well within recommended um, uh, gathering size. Um, hi, Daniel. Oh, thank you. Yeah, um, the the haircut uh, was uh, my... I do it every once, in an, every once in a while. When winter's going a little too long, and there's a warm day, and I can pretend to myself that spring is starting, I will have the, the winter denial haircut, and that's what this is. Um, I took a shower recently, so it's all kind of cowlicked up. Um, that's kind of my preferred eared. Um, it changes, and now that I'm, I'm losing a little weight, I'm a little less self-conscious about keeping it short. Um... So, hey, what's good? What's what's good stuff to do right now? What's going on? Is, is someone doing classes? Is someone doing um, therapy? Is, uh, hi, thank you. Uh, is someone having a picnic? Um, what's going on this week that isn't canceled? Whether it be on online or out there. Um, I know the Metro Opera is streaming their show since it got canceled so they're doing a you know 
virtual audience uh, for free. So that's something for opera fans. Um, we actually had tickets to see the uh, Barber of Seville this past weekend, but it was, of course, canceled. Like everything. Um, I was really looking forward to this uh, this Saturday, uh, Sage, which is a, a senior LGBT um, group. Um, I think Sage actually stands for something, but I'm not sure. Um, and there was, apparently there used to be long ago a place called The Sun, not Sun Trap, but The Sun, um, in the 70s and 80s, and um, they were going to recreate this, this venue and, and, and um, request that everyone dress 70s, 80s, um, and that sounded like it was going to be fun, and I honestly want to, I want to know more older people. I am the oldest person uh, among most of my friends, and um, that can be awkward. Um, and as someone who never expected to live this long, um, I'm, I'm actually struggling with it. And, and just knowing people in their 50s and 60s who are having a cool life, um, to remind me that I'm not past my due date um, would be cool. Uh, but of course, every Sage event is canceled because the virus hits seniors extra hard. Um, so I don't get that. <laughs> yes, even catch up, Bryce. You're what, 20 years behind me? Um, I'm scrolling back here a bit. Uh, yeah, educational websites are doing free stuff now. I wonder if Masterclass is. Probably not. They're pretty expensive. Um, but if Masterclass were doing something, I'd, I'd like watch the, the David Lynch one. Maybe. If I got stoned, I would do that. You know what? Maybe I'll do some painting, Shelby. Um, I've done a lot of painting, and um, for a long time I lived in a space that was just too small and a headspace that was too small, and I stopped. Um, I live really close to Joanne Fabric, and they've got all sorts of art supplies. Um, maybe I'll uh, get, you know, like, a small set of brushes, a canvas, and three or four colors, and, and see what I can put together. Um, that would be nice, because, I mean, as... As you see, I like visual design, um, and I'm pretty proud of these. Oh, and the, the first one, the first Gonzo Rising poster was, um, again, a project like this uh, Soviet propaganda style, which I think turned out really well. Um, but yeah, I, I paint too. I just haven't done it in a really long time. Um, I did some in an art therapy class at the VA for a while, um, and... I don't think there's anything particularly special came out of it, but I found it really uh, satisfying to put paint to paper. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll see if I can... Uh, how how small a budget I, I can uh, create uh, a new uh, paint set with. Um, yeah, wiser sometimes. Uh, yeah, I... I'm really sad about Sage. This would be a good time for me to hang out with him. Um, but there's no... What do you quit? You're 42. Okay. I don't know, Bryce. You always look very youthful to me. So take that for what you will. I think it's the haircut. Um, although the last few times I've seen you, you've looked different from me the previous time. Um, and I'm, I'm on to talk. Uh, so, yeah. Um, in this two weeks minimum... Uh, I'm gonna try, I'll try painting, I'm gonna take a walk every day. Uh, acrylic, it's, uh, um, easiest to clean up, uh, it dries quickly, um, it mixes fairly well. Um, I've done oil paints, um, I like oil paints, but it's more expensive, and it's just more time consuming, and you gotta be a lot more careful with cleaning, um, you know, you, you can't use a cup of water to keep your brushes clean. 
Um, strangely, I love the smell of turpentine and the smell of oil paint, which um, I probably can't smell anymore. So, um, yeah. Um, yeah, acrylics. And acrylics are fortunately fairly cheap, uh, especially if I go, like, student-grade acrylics, which will degrade fairly quickly, um, but for the experience of painting, they're fine. Although I like the, the kind of rich, thick, creamy acrylics um, that are more expensive. Um, and you can do acrylic and uh, oil mixture. Um, you can do like oil on top of acrylic. You really shouldn't do acrylic on top of oil. Um, and I've done that before uh, to good effect. Um, my friend Ari Ari, um, who currently is in California, who I knew in San Diego, she's got a couple of my paintings uh, where I did the, the mix. Uh, mi I guess technically that's mixed media if you've got oil and acrylic on the same thing. I was going to do a gallery show here in Salt Lake at the Trolley Square, there's a little art gallery, but they essentially closed rather than <laughs> present my show. Um, but it's a point of pride that they were going to do a show. Um, but yeah, then when I closed up, um, I got rid of everything, my paintings, my paints, my easel, my brushes. Uh, fortunately, I believe everything went to someone who appreciates and uses them. That was that was a real pain in the ass time for me. <laughs> we uh, we thought we were gonna move to Hawaii and didn't. So I cleared out an apartment of stuff, like um, Jake and John went on ahead, and uh, I stayed behind because I was finishing up at Fear Factory that season. And I sold all the furniture out of the apartment. I gave away uh, all the stuff. I gave away all my art, all my paintings, uh, both mine and others that I've purchased over the years. Um, and then that job fell through and they came back to the empty apartment that, um, no, because we closed out the apartment and Someone else was in the apartment by then. I don't know. It's all very complicated and annoying, and I feel harassed. Um, so, yeah, that was kind of sad that, that through that I gave up an entire creative outlet um, for so long. Uh, <sighs> but on the plus side now, I have this cool new desk. I have a snail. I have these framed posters. Uh, Joanne had a, a 50 off sale on, on frames. So I got everything framed, uh, which is cool. Um, so now I have these posters that aren't thumbtacked or, or blue tacked. Um, it's not that I think they'll be worth anything, but they they might last me a while. Um, I've been kind of rebuilding my empire of stuff. Not hoarding exactly, but... Um, uh, um, I think it's okay to be attached to objects that give you joy, you know, kind of reverse Marie Kondo. I'm, I'm, I'm building my clutter out of things that give me joy. What do I have that gives me joy? I have, um, I have some books. Um, I have a, a bigger shelf with more books, but these are the books, uh, a couple of them I've written. Um, uh, I have... Um, a, I forget how to open the sucker. There it is. I have a, a spoon put together. Ah. Like a, like a butterfly knife. This gives me pleasure. Just kind of fiddle with. I have a couple tarot decks. And while I don't necessarily believe in them these days, um, I find them... I, I actually have toilet paper because I bought a large economy size pack um, before the hoarding started, not being aware that hoarding was going to start. It wasn't, you know, prescient of me. It's just lucky. Um, I've got... 
Anyone know what that is? The bone, yes. Anyone know what kind of bone it is? If Matt's still on, he probably knows. It's a baculum, um, which is the penis bone. Most mammals have a bone in their penis, and it's called a baculum. Um, and that's the baculum of a fisher, which um, otherwise sometimes known as a fisher cat. Um, what else? I have um, a hunk of selenite. I have, yeah. Uh, I have, uh, oh, I have the, the Edgory Fantod pack, which is sort of in the style of a tarot deck, um, but it's not. It's got books like The Ladder, um, The Child, I should hold it up this way, uh, The Limb, The Yellow Bird. I, as far as I know, no one's developed a system of, uh, yes. Absolutely used as a type in. Um, I might make a uh, a um, pen, uh, pendulum, a uh, pendant. I could make a pendulum. I might make a pendant out of it. Um, I've got a zombie tarot deck. Um, I have a couple pendulums. Um, this um, I've been dabbling in magic for a little while. Um, and one of the skills I've developed, but I don't know what to do with it yet, is, is I can do the pendulum. So I'm holding it like that, and um, let's say, go round and round. Let's say, stop. Let's say, go back and forth. Let's say, stop. Let's say, go round and round the other way. All right. So depending on your frame rate, that may not actually demonstrate. So, I mean, that's kind of a cool little trick. Um, but by itself, it's not really a magic trick. It's not really very um, dramatic. Um, I want to combine it with uh, um, maybe some cold reading and do like, um, uh, like answering yes or no questions um, uh, from, from a, uh, someone from the audience. Um, but the problem is the, the magic I do is intentionally silly. Um, and, and like my, my act is called the liar's seance. So we, we do a seance bit, but I desperately do not want anyone to ever think that it's real. And the pendulum bit is something that people do for real. Um, and, um, it's it's so subtle it's not really over the top so i'm not sure how to incorporate it into the act or some other act um but i do it sometimes as a as a fidget you know i'll just sort of sit there with with it and i'll go left right clockwise counterclockwise up down um it's not a complicated trick um but it's hard to um i don't know I imagine some people will find it hard and some people will find it easy. Uh, that one, the pointy one, was made with Labradorite, which is one of my favorite minerals. It's pretty cool. It's kind of dull gray looking until you hold it in the light, and it's got this, this iridescent flash. Um, what else do I have? I have pictures. Uh, I have a picture of my dad. I just, just today got a picture of uh, Tony printed up, who is my late domestic partner, which is the best we could do for husband at the time. Uh, and I've got a frame waiting for a picture of um, Jake and me. Uh, so I'm, I'm using Shutterfly to get prints because I don't even know how people get a print in the normal way anymore. Uh, yeah, so uh, I'm collecting objects that help me with my mental health things that I can play with and look at um, that, that bring me some pleasure or distraction. I'm, I'm going to be playing video games. I'm going to be watching videos uh, on uh, Netflix. I'm watching currently interior, the Great Interior Design Challenge, which is a very um, kind of wholesome competition. I like um, the competitive... Um, shows that are 
for one of a better word, wholesome, not no forced drama. I used to love Face Off when when Face Off existed. Um, I like uh, what uh, Project Runway. I like um, the Great British Bake Off. Um, part of my my recent therapy in in DBT in dialectic behavioral therapy. One of the lessons I learned is that it's not wrong to seek distraction. Hi, Ellie. Um, I've always felt guilty for seeking distraction. Like if I'm distressed, um, I go watch TV and then I feel guilty about it because I'm not doing anything, right? Um, but distraction is fine. It doesn't need to take over your whole life. But since all of life right now is kind of distressing, it's okay for me to binge watch uh, some relatively harmless um, TV. Um, I just shouldn't be focusing on things that um, are going to have a negative impact on my mental health, and I shouldn't allow it to take over my whole day and my whole life. Um, so I'm watching the Great Interior Design Challenge. Um, when I finish this current episode, I'm going to finish my, my movie review. Um, if Norman ever winds up watching this video, I'm, I'm super sorry. It is true that I misread the calendar, um, but that doesn't give me an excuse for being a whole day later than that. Um, but I will finish it tonight. Um, it's not a good movie. It's really not. Uh, it's called Dead by Dawn, which sounds exciting because you think, oh, this has got to have something to do with um, you know, Evil Dead, or it's got to have something to do with zombies, at least. No, nothing to do with them. I hate it when people use titles that belong to something better than them. And I don't know if they're cynically trying to get people to accidentally watch it, or if it's just because they don't care, or because they honestly never Googled their title. Um, you know, I feel the same way about the video game Prey. I feel the same about um, reboots that just have the same name as, as the original. Um, I find that really annoying, and it makes it harder for me to look things up. You know, makes it harder to Google. Um, but I will finish that review, um, and then I will either watch another episode of Great Interior Design Challenge, or possibly um, uh, I've got a video queued up by Cody Clark, who's an autistic magician, um, whom I, I became... Um, I started watching watching him um, when I was writing uh, an autistic character in my movie uh, Eastern White my, my movie my book Eastern White Pine, which um, I'd love everyone to be able to read it. Uh, I'm I'm looking for traditional publishing. Um, next month there's an online, so it's probably not going to be canceled uh, event with uh, literary agents. Uh, where you can pitch your work to to agents um, who may not normally take unsolicited work. Um, I've done this before and got a good result, and then um, I got depressed for four years, and so I kind of lost that opportunity. So I'm going to try that again. Uh, but Eastern White Pine, I'm fairly proud of. Uh, Patch World, I'm fairly proud of. I'm currently working on a book called Impulse Controlled. Um, which I alternately hate and love, which goes to say that I'm in the middle of writing it. Um, the premise there is interesting. Um, you know how... Yes, Bryce. Um, you know how people naturally, um, you don't even need, like, a mental illness or anything like this, um, but, um, people get impulses, like you're standing on the edge of something and you think, gosh, maybe I could jump off. And you don't. And you might be horrified about it, um, but you don't, right? Because you have some impulse control. Now, there are some mental illnesses that um, reduce the amount of impulse control you have. And there are some things that cause you to get more of these impulses or intrusive thoughts. Um, anytime. Um... So the premise of the book is that for some unknown reason, 
for anywhere from a few seconds to a few minutes now and then, like once a day or once twice a week, um, all of humanity loses the control. So anyone in that time frame who happens to have one of these intrusive thoughts or one of these impulses um, now has no control over it and will act. Right? And the story is about how long it takes society to crumble. Um, pretty quick. Um, so, uh, for example, someone who has nuclear launch codes must constantly have the impulse to launch them, right? So that's going to happen. And... Uh, anyone who has impulses to, to burn things is going to burn things. And people who have impulses to um, murder their co-workers um, are going to murder their co-workers. And, um, uh, you know, so um, society crumbles pretty quick. And uh, my, my main character, Ben, is uh, bipolar. And his chief concern at the beginning of the book, as society crumbles, is getting his medication. Because going off your medication for a bipolar person can be very, very dangerous. And um, particularly with society crumbling, the keeping suicidality at bay is going to be hard. And so he's on a quest to find his medication. And of course... Um, because writers are dicks to their characters, I don't allow him to find his medication. And so now I'm writing a bipolar character in the end times, um, which has its challenges, uh, which is a little autobiographical. And I'm also uh, exploring the idea of intrusive thoughts and impulses um, and how they might manifest if they're not um, controlled. Um, and I've got some great characters, and I love them. And uh, I've started to develop a means of protecting themselves from the impulse, but it's not going to be 100%, so stuff is going to keep happening. Um, and uh, a thing that's been blocking me is I got to a certain point, and I said, wow, this is turning out too much like The Stand. And it's not. The impulse is not like a disease. It's not wiped out humanity. Humanity is wiping itself out because of its impulses. Um, and then later, because there's no controlling force, so people are just running amok. Um, but that thought keeps interfering and stopping me, um, and it's kind of created a block and made it hard for me to continue writing. Um, but recently, while talking to a friend, um, I discussed the idea of... Um, Part of the problem is I'm trying to bring... I, I've created people in different regions and, and their story. I've got um, a, an evangelical minister. I've got uh, a teenage girl who's been kidnapped. I've got Ben, uh, who I've just described. I've got um, this middle-aged lesbian couple. And um, they're all in different areas, and I want to bring them together, and I want them to learn enough to... Um, sort of face off the cause of the problem, right? I want uh, them to do that. But um, that requires a certain amount of, of manipulation that is not coming to me. But instead of, say, going like the stand and having, like, maybe dreams or something, um, we could keep the stories separate and more like World War Z or something like that where each of these people go through their own story arc, um, but don't necessarily come together, and we don't necessarily solve the problem. Maybe the impulse never goes away. Uh, maybe this is just what society is now. Maybe this is what humanity is now. Um, or maybe it goes away on its own, in the same way it started on its own. Um, I have a theory of how it happened. Um, I wrote the damn thing. But the readership may never know. But that's what I'm working on now. And that's what's kind of foundering, as um, writing is always the first thing to suffer when my mental health um, declines. When my mood and energy are not doing great, I find myself um, unable to write. And um, so, yeah, I, I reach kind of a, a stopping point, and then in the middle of all that comes the middle of all this. And right now, 
it's going to be a challenge to get back into a space where I can continue writing. Um, but that's part of the goal. And, and part of that help is doing this, this sort of positive distraction. Part of that is doing things like this. Part of that is finding ways to engage with people online, in groups, in live. Um, I, I used to play Minecraft a lot, and there was a server where I had like lots of friends, but the server kind of dwindled away, and I'm wondering if maybe, with all this isolation, maybe some of those people are going to be playing again. Um, I love the game, but it's more fun with friends. Um, uh... And I think painting again uh, will be good because while that's a creative outlet, it doesn't leave me feeling used up like writing sometimes does. And performing is just not really going to be available for a little while, except for doing things like this. Um, you know, I, I sang a little song yesterday. Um, uh, all right, I have to get on. You know, I've got a whole two tasks to finish before the end of the day. Um, and uh, I probably should do them, at least the one that has a deadline on it. Um, and then maybe I'll go for a nice midnight walk to help me sleep. And then tomorrow, who knows? There may be something going on. I believe there's going to be a work party at Streamscapes, so um, as a volunteer, I'll, I'll go help with some cleaning and gluing things and repairing things. Um, I sure hope that happens, because I need to get out of the house and I need to feel productive. And if this is how I feel at day one, this is going to be a really hard two weeks. <sighs> Thank you, friends. Um, even just seeing your, your face in the little wave icon um, has helped. Um, I've been rambling. I've talked about current events. I've talked about a little bit about my past, about what I'm doing to cope, a um, little bit about some of the things I'm creating or trying to create or things that are on hold. Um, the community as a whole, and when I say the community, I mean multiple communities that sort of overlap in the realm I'm in. Uh, has been very positive, very affirming, very supportive. Um, lots of things going on where people are trying to help each other. Um, and I find in times where the top down of society is failing us, um, the bottom up has to work all the harder. And um, sadly, the grassroots people who are doing all this support aren't millionaires or they could do much more. Um, I'm barely a hundred air. Actually, I don't think I am at the moment, um, but I help where I can, you know? Tip your Lyft drivers really well. Uh, tip your, your delivery drivers really well, um, because life is rough for them. Be very nice to anyone you interact with who's, who's at work, um, because life just sucks for them, really. Uh, and who knows when I'll be working again, because I took the week off for a conference that was cancelled. So I'm not scheduled for a bit of a while, um, to the point where I'm not sure what's going to be going on. Um, Midwife walk sounds great. Yeah, um, yeah. And so far, the people I've seen online, or on, in person, are... Um, a little shell-shocked, but mostly fairly decent people. Um, and mostly the people online are, are fairly decent. Mostly the people who are sh shouting about how this isn't a real problem and everyone's overreacting are starting to calm down, or perhaps I've just unfollowed them all. And um, the people who are doing the opposite and, and, and being very uh, mean and insulting to people who are trying to go on with their life and who are not making their entire life isolation right now um, are uh, still out there, but not, not, I think, not as harsh as they were. I think we'll get through it. I think we'll mellow out. I think people will get sick. I think people will die. I think people will lose their jobs. I think people will lose their homes. Um, I think people will go bankrupt. I think businesses will close. 
Um, but big picture, we'll get through it. And on the other side, God help us. I hope we learn from it. Because we've seen a lot of what's possible now. Um, and a lot of that that's possible um, can still be possible when we're not in isolation. Um, so, yeah. yeah the the English people, uh, this is very, very slow to them, and some of them are trying to survive on this job. Um, a lot of them were doing it as a side job, but a lot are, that's all they got. Um, and also treat them well and sit in the back seat. Um, and continue to take all safety precautions as recommended, um, both for purposes of the pandemic and otherwise, um, because dangerous people don't suddenly disappear in bad times. So don't let your guard down. I think people are mostly pretty good and very helpful. Um, but still stay safe. Those of you that have to travel, good luck. Um, and I hope to see you again soon. Uh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, I'll keep acting and I'll keep teaching. If things... You know what? Maybe I'll, I'll do some lessons here. If any of the, the haunt actors want, want to hear some. It'll have to be lecture style, mostly. Um, I suppose I can zombie up and crawl around the room in front of the camera, but, um, yeah, if you're interested, I can do some stuff. Anything to help me connect with people and feel less isolated and more useful will be great. Uh, but I really do have to sign off and finish this review. Sorry again, Norman, if you're ever watching this. Um, I hope the next movie in my lineup is, uh, better. Um... Those of you that are coming and going, uh, I appreciate it. Um, and I think this is like the 17th time I'm signing off, but I'm going to do it now. Uh, peace. And if Facebook will take a video this long, I'll save it for future viewers. Um, love you all.